Because social media and web hosting companies are private entities, they get to choose who speaks in their fora or on their platform. But a lot of people are asking, how is this any different from a baker who refuses to serve a gay couple? The reason is this, the vast majority of discrimination, 99% of discrimination is lawful. Put another way, lawful discrimination is the default rule in American law. It's only in the last century that we've started to carve out exceptions to this general rule. Generally speaking, employers and companies can't discriminate against people based on their membership in a protected class. Protected classes include race, gender, disability, and more recently, sexual orientation. Today, the Supreme Court has ruled that Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which makes it illegal for employers to fire employees on the basis of sex, also covers sexual orientation. The notion of protected classes has its roots in remedying past discrimination, like slavery in the United States. A business can discriminate against its customers for all the reasons in the universe except those particular categories. A restaurant, for example, could refuse service to someone wearing a Make America Great Again hat, but it can't refuse service to somebody because, say, they're African American. Of course, the market punishes discrimination, too. For every restaurant that refuses service to somebody in a MAGA hat, down the street is another restaurant perfectly happy to take that person's money and their MAGA hat. If Twitter wants to say, we do not like this particular kind of speech, so we're banning it, that's lawful. But the same ban on content-based speech by the government would violate the First Amendment. What makes these cases difficult for plaintiffs is that they have to prove the discrimination was because of their membership in a protected class. It's not enough to show you're fired and you're African-American. You have to show that you were fired because you are African-American. So when tech companies ban Parler or suspend Trump, is that the same thing as the baker that refuses to make a cake for a gay couple? It might be, but remember that Baker won that case at the Supreme Court. It's a clear win for Jack Phillips of Denver, who said baking a cake for a same-sex couple would violate his Christian beliefs, forcing him to express a view through the artistry of his cakes that he opposes. But if litigated, a court would probably treat a single baker who considers each cake a work of art much differently than a tech giant that provides services to millions and millions of people worldwide. Now, if the baker had pre-made a generic cake just sitting in his display case, and then a gay couple comes in and he doesn't allow them to buy that cake, then the court might have reached a totally different result. This, after all, is no different than refusing to sell a coffee to an African-American who comes into your restaurant and sits at the counter. That example is one of the seminal discrimination cases in American history. Whether it's tech companies, restaurants, or even bakers, almost all discrimination is lawful, except for the tiny bit of discrimination that isn't. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.